So Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are actually a thing now, and while fans have to wait for more information to drop about the games, we have took it upon ourselves to speculate what kind of form Solgaleo and Lunala have. An interesting one that has been floating around the internet, while Pazom Necrozma has fused together with the legendary Pokemon, is an Ultra Form. Now, I would love to see this happen with non-legendary Pokemon as well. I know this is something very highly undoubtedly that's going to happen, but it's always fun to speculate what they'd actually look like if it did. One of the more interesting ones that I have seen is an ultra goalless pod so all credit goes to one of the artists who drew this you can find them down below in the links as well in the description the fusion between goalless pod and necrozma enhances its feature and if we look at necrozma's ability which i know is the prison armor it actually enhances how goalless pod looks now if it was to raise these stats of the pokemon goalless pod would be stronger than ever there are quite a few pokemon that have had these drawn up for them and i thought it was a really cool idea so i wanted to make a video on it today about it now another Another interesting one is one that I saw on a 4chan, which was an Ultra Celesteela. Now, Ultra Ultra Beast doesn't sound alright, so we'll call that a prism form, I guess, for the Ultra Beasts. Because trying to fit Ultra Ultra Beast just doesn't make sense, right? So, exactly what happened was I went onto 4chan and found this image regarding an Ultra Celesteela. Now, Changing the colours of this Pokemon and adding some Necrozma parts to it literally makes this thing look like a nightmare. Like you can see the defence and special defence stats of this Pokemon already, without even having any um up on the website as well. Literally looking at this Pokemon it's every VGC's nightmare and this thing looks absolutely insane. Now while these forms of the Ultra Beast won't ever happen I guess, but it's always fun to think you know exactly what would happen if Necrozma fused with an Ultra Beast. Another interesting one as well was the fact that it fused with Katana had in some, you know, features from Necrozma looking like it would boost its special attack and attack stats and stuff like that. And it's always cool to speculate, but I don't think Pokemon goes that much depth into lore about it. Now, an interesting theory that has been floating around of mine, uh, and I've spoken to this about many other people as well, was the fact that I would love some more information regarding, you know, these type of forms. So, what if Necrozma wasn't actually a Pokemon, and Solgaleo and Lunala, these were already their Prism or Ultra forms? Now, necessarily, we take away those, and that's what kind of happened to them in Sun and Moon. But since Sun and Moon, um, Ultra Sun and Moon, sorry, is taken place in another universe we can think you know maybe we can add a little bit more to it so what if the forms of ultra solgaleo and ultra lunala were actually their real forms and because they took part of all the necrozma pieces of them it actually turned into necrozma now i know it's super far fetched so don't just start listening from there don't cross off the video and think you know this doesn't actually make sense because like i said these are all speculations and while none of it's probably true it's always fun to think like this i wish pokemon would go into more depth about these kind of forms. Another interesting one as well was the fact that Necrozma is taking control of the Pokemon. So as you can see, the radiant phase of Lunala, it looks like it's really blue. Now it could be due to the moonlight shining on the Pokemon, but something that I really thought would be cool is if Necrozma actually fused with this Pokemon trying to burst out all of its energy. And now we know when it's in the radiant form when it goes into Ultra Space. So like I said, it's a really interesting fact that these forms of the Pokemon have actually appeared and they've just dropped Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on us. But I really want to see Ultra forms of different Pokemon and I wish this would really happen but I cannot ever see it happening to be fair. And now what you guys should go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section which kind of Ultra form Pokemon would you like to see. So if you guys did enjoy this quick little video regarding some Ultra forms what I'd love to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon, while I said it never will happen, it's always fun to think what's going to happen in the games. I know Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon will be an amazing game and I'm really hoping to see some more gameplay at E3 just like when they showcased Sun and Moon back then. If you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up as it is always super greatly appreciated and make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos to come. I'll be sure to cover all coverage at E3 when it goes live so make sure you subscribe and stay around on the channel for that. Let me know down below in the comment section what Ultra forms you would like to see on any other Pokemon as well. Having them on the Ultra Beast as well is a kind of cool thing so shout out to all the people that took part into this it's super greatly appreciated like i said i will link them down below in the comment section who drew the ultra beasts and as well shout out to one of my twitter followers to create in the katana as it looked absolutely insane thank you guys so much for watching my name is infinitax and i will see you guys back in the next video peace